Hello guys, welcome to my channel. This is tutorial number 70 in this course and in this tutorial we are going to see how we can declare pointers that accept the addresses of structured variables. Right, so as you can see using code blocks, I've saved a file, I've given it the name pointers to structures, it has the extension .c. On line 1 in this file, I have the stdio.hrr file, on line 2 I have the string.hrr file and then I have declared a structure called album and this structure must be familiar because uh, we worked with this uh, in quite a lot of tutorials now and uh, it has four strings as four elements and the first one's called title, the second one's artist, third one's number of tracks and the fourth one is year and uh, we're going to use these elements to store information about music albums and then outside the structure definition I have declared a variable for the structure and I've given it the name album and uh, you know you can notice that uh, the name of the structure variable is different from the structure name right so structure name has a in capital case whereas the name of the structure variable is all in small case then on line number 10 i have uh, declared a function called display album right and it's not going to return anything to the main function so that's why it's a void type and the parameter list of this function is is slightly different from what it was in the last tutorial in the last tutorial we just had a normal you know uh, structure variable inside the parameter list this time we have a pointer variable right so that is why you see the asterisk symbol before the formal parameter alb right and rest the two things are same right so we want the compiler to know that this function is going to receive an argument and it's going to be the address of a structure variable right and the structure uh, the address of whose variable we're going to pass is album and uh, we obviously have to specify the struct keyword inside the parameter list right so on line number 11 i have declared the main function and then inside the main function i have used the str cpy or the string copy function four times to initialize the four members of the structure album and since we have just one variable in the program you know for the structure and that is album all in small case i have used that and the member access operator which is the dot or period and uh, I've given title the value wish you were here, artist the value Pink Floyd, number of tracks the value 5 and album year the value 1973. And then on line number 17 I have called the display album function but this time instead of specifying just the name of the structure variable within the parentheses I have also put in the address of operator. So instead of passing the structure name I'm passing its address right and this address is going to be stored in the pointer variable alb right so it's it's pretty similar right so just as you would pass uh, you know uh, addresses of other variables to pointer variables that exist in the parameter list of functions you know if, if you have integer variables or float variables or even arrays you know we've, we've seen how we pass arrays to functions and this is how we do it right so uh, nothing has changed it's just that we're working with structures and uh, the way we are going to access the members of the structure using this pointer variable alb that's that's you know that's different and that's unique and that's what we're going to check out now so inside the function definition we have uh, four statements and i have the puts function to display the values of the structure members but instead of using the member access operator or the dot i have used a combination of two characters right so i have the hyphen and the greater than symbol i don't know what this is called some people call it the opening uh, angular bracket or i don't know what it is but you know it, it is the greater than symbol right and um, you obviously have to specify the name of your pointer variable first and which in this case is alb and then you put in a hyphen then you put in the greater than symbol and then you put in the name of your structure member so for the first statement it's title for the next one it's artist for the next one it's number of tracks and for the last one it's year so now i'll click on build and run and show you guys the output of this program and we see that in the output window the output that we get is the same as the output that we receive in the last tutorial right so nothing has changed it's just that instead of using the member access operator we've used uh, this operator it's a new operator and uh, you know we haven't seen it before in this course so this is a new thing and you must keep this in mind and uh, the other thing is we've seen how we can pass addresses of structure variables to pointers and there's nothing new in that really uh, you do it the same way as you do it for other variables so thank you so much for watching this tutorial i hope you guys are having fun in this course and uh, 
please subscribe to my channel in case you haven't already and uh, i'm going to see you in the next tutorial in which we'll discuss something interesting for sure so see you soon